Hey there everybody, this is Adam Zundel from the Mountain East Conference and in this video we're going to go over some very basic plays now that you're up and ready to score. So uh, let's go ahead and start our video and we'll kind of go alongside it and again we're going to just go over the basic plays and so we've put in our lineups, we're ready to go and uh, to stay in the game it's helpful if you hit the P button and that will give you a pitch count, and as you see that first pitch go in, you'll see all the keys are there for you. It was a called strike, so you hit K, and now the count is 0-1. And, and then as you go along in the game, ball 1-1, one and one, as you go on in the game, the pitch count accumulates how many strikes have been thrown, um, and as you change pitchers, it'll restart the count for the new pitcher. Helpful information of another ball is thrown there and you can even keep track of fouled off. We'll show you what happens when it's put back in play. That one's a foul ball, so now the count is two and two. And you see a ball is put in play and it's out to center field so we hit P and that puts us back right here and the simple code for a fly ball to center field is F8 and you see it will give you a recap of what you just typed in fly it out to center field and that's good and so we're going to go ahead and put in P and now we get the pitcher's view again if you wanted to get creative you could move this around where the pitch was for a ball and a strike you could just leave it right there in the middle for ease sake. Another called strike. Hit K for that. Again, all the instructions are right there in front of you. That one misses. High. Account now one and one. One's fouled away. One and two. And once again, you can see the pitches totaling up here. And that one is put in play. So we hit P. And we hit 1B for a single. And then for a little bit of extra detail, we're going to put in right side, or RS. And there's codes for a lot of these different ones. And, you know, I'm going to pause this video over here, go back. And um, so that it said right side there. And so there are several different ways you can describe the play. You can put in 1B, LL for left field line. You can put in LC for left center, RC for right center. We just did right side. You can do left side. Uh, if it's an infield single, you can put in 1B5, uh, if that was to the third baseman. So there are different ways to describe the play, and it gives your play-by-play -play inside your uh, box score a little bit more detail. It's helpful for anyone trying to recap the game. So go ahead and start the video here. Again, I've selected P. And you can keep track of who's up. We've got number 12 up, and as you can see, number 12 is at bat, so you know who's at the right place in the order. He's first pitch swing, so it's going to be put into play, and it's an F8. He doesn't go anywhere, and so fly it out to center field, that's correct. We'll hit P here once again. We got number 10 up. Called first strike. So we've got 11 pitches and 8 strikes thrown. Fouled off. That one, 2. Ball. If you're working in the press box and you're working with the scoreboard operator, it's good to keep uh, him on track and for him to keep you on track with the pitches because it can get kind of 
cumbersome. That one is a line drive to the pitcher and it's put into play. And then we'll call that an L1 for a line drive back to the pitcher. End of the inning. And you can read there, lined out to pitcher. So you can put those kinds of details with the way that you encode it. And then it'll recap the inning for you. And that's a look at some very basic plays in baseball and softball stack crew.